Welcome to Bark Owls and Nature Bites. Today we're talking about this critter right here, which is called an Asian lady beetle. And I know what many of you are thinking are. That's a ladybug, not a lady beetle. What are you talking about? Well, technically these are lady beetles. No one's going to yell at you if you call them a ladybug. I still do from time to time as well. But they actually are different than a ladybug. Asian lady beetles, for one, aren't native to North America. They're native to, yeah, you guessed it, Asia. And also for lady beetles, they have some different characteristics characteristics on that can tell you if they're different than a ladybug. They have more of a, a pointed snout to them, so a pointed face, if you will, more than a ladybug, a little more rounded. On the back of their head, you'll sometimes see like an M or a W, like in white or yellow or black dots. If you see that, you got a lady beetle. The big one is, if you see a bunch of these things flying all over your house on warm fall days or the first warm days in the spring, in big groups on the inside and outside of your house, those are lady beetles. So lady beetles will start off as an egg. The female lay, lay about 20 to 1,000 eggs over a span of one to three months in the spring and summer. And the eggs are gonna hatch into the larva. And the larva look really weird. It looks like, the best way I could describe it, as a bug face, small alligator with like orange, uh, orange bands on it. Really weird, you wanna think it'd turn into a lady beetle, but they do. And after about 20 days, they're gonna uh, turn into an adult lady beetle. They'll go through four growth stages, so they'll molt, shut off their exoskeleton about four times before they become an adult lady beetle. And adult lady beetles live about uh, two to three years. So before I get to some of the reasons why they're a nuisance, lady beetles are actually pretty beneficial. They eat a lot of aphids, and aphids can cause a lot of damage to a variety of plants and crops, crops even like apples and pecans. So uh, lady beetles eat hundreds of aphids every day, so really they help out a lot of farmers and gardeners out there quite a bit. But they can be a nuisance, especially in the fall. You get some warm days after some cold days. So like recently we had some cold days in the 30s and 20s. Now it's in the 60s. Lots of these things flying all over the place, inside and outside of buildings. In the spring, the first warm days, you'll see a whole bunch of them coming out. And they get to be just all over the place and they can, can kind of be a little bit of a nuisance. Don't worry about them chewing wood or fabric or clothes or food. They don't do that, so don't worry about that. They could just be all over the place. And for lady beetles, Sometimes what happens if they're in groups on the side of your, or inside your house, you might see like yellow staining on your walls and stuff. And what that actually is, is what they'll do as a defense, it's called a reflex bleed. And they'll actually bleed from the joints in their legs, blood, and that blood will taste bad. I've heard, I actually haven't tried it, but I heard it tastes bad. And it smells bad, so if you ever got one on you, it crushed it by accident, you smell it, that's what you're smelling. And that's basically a way to discourage predators, which really, to be honest, uh, lady beetles don't have a lot of predators, but that's one of their defenses. Another defense is that they can bite a little bit with the chewing mouth parts. They're not venomous, don't worry about that, but they can like pinch a little bit, it doesn't feel too bad, not that big a deal. I think this one's thinking about biting me here in a little bit. So for lady beetles, if you're trying to keep them outside your house, you know, it's tricky. You know, the best thing is to try to find entry points. So little cracks and crevices in your house, which let's be honest, it's pretty hard to find your house. They're probably gonna get in there at some point or another. And when you see them in the fall, then you, on warm days like this inside your house, they're really starting to look for places to go and spend the winter. Little nooks and crannies, someplace nice and protected. When you see them in the spring, they're crawling out of those protected areas, but they don't reproduce over the winter. So whatever, whatever lady beetles you see in the spring, they're the same ones that are there for the whole winter. They don't reproduce at all over the winter time. So really for lady beetles, it's, yeah, it's kind of hard to keep them out of your house. They're kind of cool though. Each one is pretty unique. They have different colors. They can be bright orange, dark orange, light orange, reddish orange even, different number of spots. The number of spots won't tell you the age or the boy or girl, but just they have varying spots on them. So really each one's kind of got its unique characteristics. So if you see them, just kind of look at them, admire them. They're really kind of cool to look at. If you want to play hide and seek on one, it's really easy because they're very easily spotted. Thanks for watching Bark Owls Nature Bites.